As a amateur film student for the time being, one advice that I hear a lot is to practice composition. Composition is how visual elements are arranged in a photo, painting, or in this case, a scene. There are many ways to go about it, the rule of thirds, guiding lines, color ratio, etc. Since I'm new to the study of filmmaking, I've decided to just focus on the basic concept first. The film that I want to talk about today is called Heavenly Forest. It refers to a location in the film in which the character spends a lot of time in. A beautiful Japanese film from 2006, directed by Takehiko Shinjo and filmed by cinematographer Mitsuru Komiyama. There is not a lot of info about them, and unfortunately, I can't read Japanese, so finding info about them is quite difficult. With that said, this video is based on my interpretation. Hi, sorry for interrupting this video, but I realized I didn't clarify my point with this video in my original script. So this film is about two characters that love photography, and I sort of realized that the movie has some beautiful shots with some great composition in it. So I wanted to share my thoughts on how I interpret those scenes. Alright, moving on. I highly suggest watching this film first, if you haven't already, because there will be some spoilers in this video. The film is described as a romantic film, and even though I kinda see it, it really isn't. It's more of a drama film. The film is about two university students that are kind of introverted, but they both bond over their love for photography. That's a very loose description of the plot by the way. Photography is a huge part of the film, and the composition is a big part of photography. One of the ways to achieve good composition is to use contrast in colors. This movie loves the color green, and they love to contrast that with other colors. Especially for the character Shizuru. She for the most part is dressed in clothing that is always bluish in tones. While the character Makoto often wears clothing that matches the background. That is done deliberately. It's often done to highlight Shizuru, to make her stand out in the scene. That is not always the case though, later on when they are becoming more and more friends, you see that he also stands out in the scene, by wearing a color that doesn't hide him. This first happens when they first explore the heavenly forest. It signifies that in that moment, it is just them, and they both are bonding with each other. This moment in the film is filled with beautiful shots and good composition in my opinion. That tree by the way is being set up in the film. The second time that they go into the forest, Makoto wears something green, so he kinda blends in with the background, but Shizuru still stands out. This comes after the fact that she was made fun of by Makoto's new friend group. Feeling offended, she runs off to hide in the forest. When Makoto finds her, he tries to reconcile with her. This moment in the film is forcing you to focus on her and her feelings. That's why Makoto is blending in with the background, because what he thinks and feels is not important. Composition in art is meant to make a visual piece readable. If this was just a picture, you still understand that Shizuru is still the center of the photo. It is made obvious because her color contrasts with the background. The way Makoto looks at her also helps putting the focus back on her. When they reconcile, Makoto and Shizuru goes off to take pictures in the forest. And now both of them are contrasting with the background, which leads to great shots and compositions like this and this. From this moment, every time you see them, they are very noticeable. All the attention goes to them, because again, it signifies that they are bonding with each other. But even then, Shizuru is still more noticeable than Makoto. But there's more to how the film uses contrasting colors to tell its story. When Makoto first met the character Miyuki, notice how they both wear similar colors. She invites him to sit together at lunch, and moments later, we see Shizuru. When she looks towards Makoto and Miyuki, she gets a bit jealous. Again, if this frame is just a picture, she still stands out, because her clothing makes a contrast with the background, while Miyuki and Makoto blends in with their surroundings. This tells us that Makoto is still, despite his friendship with Shizuru, more in tune with normal people. The similarity in color between Miyuki and Makoto becomes more apparent later on in the film, when he invites Miyuki to go to the heavenly forest. All three characters contrast with the surroundings, but he wears similar colors to Miyuki. It tells us that Makoto is more in tune with Miyuki, plus he also likes her and Shizuru knows that too, which makes Shizuru jealous and the film creates a love triangle. Another thing that the movie does by compositing is putting characters in frames a frame within a frame technique, a fitting tool for a film that's about photography. 
Sometimes they just do it, but sometimes they tell something. In this scene we see two frames stacked on each other. Do you see it? Makoto is framed like this, in the front, and Shizuru is framed like this, behind them. Even though they live in the same house at that moment, this scene came after when Makoto was asked by Miyuki to go on a date. And he was clearly happy about this, and Shizuru sees this. So by putting them in their own frame, there is visually a clear separation between them. And that's how visually the film tells its story. They are together, but still separate from each other. Even if they grew closer together, Makoto still likes Miyuki more. And therefore, Shizuru won't have his love, because it's blocked. Sometimes the composition of a shot sets up a reveal. In this scene, while Makoto was researching in what kind of job he wants when he graduates, he is shown in the foreground. Behind him, although out of focus, you can clearly see the stairs. Why? Because Shizuru walks down from it. It is then revealed that she ran away from home, and was basically homeless, prompting him to invite her to live with him. And that's how they became roommates. Makoto tells Shizuru that he has the intention to become a photographer after he leaves university, and that he also wants to enter a photo competition. He convinces Shizuru to enter the competition as well, and she comes up with a picture about love, and she asked Makoto to model for her. Two years later, both Makoto and Shizuru became professional photographers. Shizuru invited Makoto to her first photo exhibition. In an emotionally filled scene, we see Makoto standing in a room with pictures of himself, that Shizuru took of him when they lived together. Notice how the pictures on the wall guides towards him. It's a special corner about him and the composition tells us that clearly, that the pictures are there to reminisce about him, and that the replacement of those pictures guides towards him. Makoto is the subject of the room. Remember that tree? In the exhibition, we finally see the result of the picture that Shizuru came up with, and as it turns out, the tree is in the picture. Kinda fitting, because in the film, the tree was there every time they bonded, and it's the place where Shizuru began to have feelings for Makoto. In conclusion, composition is something I want to nail as an aspiring filmmaker. It's definitely not the only thing that makes a film great, but it's a start. I can't believe that this movie is already 14 years old. Time has gone so fast. We take pictures to hold memories of a different time, and that's the same with movies. Currently, because of the pandemic, some film theaters, from where I'm from, are re-releasing old movies back into the theaters. But I think, if you are in quarantine, I think it would be great to discover films that you haven't seen yet. And my suggestion is this one. Especially when I feel down, I always come back to this movie for comfort. Which is weird of course, because sometimes it's a sad movie. But don't let it stop you from watching it. I think it's a really great film, personally. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Lee Jin Gu, and this channel is about my journey in becoming a filmmaker. I am also trying to get into film school, but in the meantime, I'm learning on my own. So if you want to see more, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for your time and see you later.